Aloha and welcome back to the start of a new video. Today I'm doing a little bit of a summer reset. It is the middle of July, which is crazy to me. Middle of July, I've been in London now for a few weeks, also crazy to me, um, but I've also been traveling a lot. The past couple of weeks have been really go, 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 and I haven't really had an opportunity to just kind of like sit still and that is what today is for. I'm gonna just let myself finally catch up on a lot of tasks that I've been putting off, like doing laundry because I run out of clothes, so I have to do laundry. I'm gonna do dishes. I'm going to get a little grocery shop in. We're just gonna accomplish a lot of these things I have not been accomplishing recently and just trying to get it all done today because yeah, sometimes you just need days like that. And I hope that this video can help some of you also feel empowered to like get those like tasks that you've been putting off for a while done. So that is my goal. I'm gonna do a lot of that stuff. And then I also have like some admin, emails, work. But yeah, I started today off with a lovely shower. Have my hair up in these curlers I got in Korea. And I'm also trying out this like curling like no heat method that my friend emily taught me first order of business today is to load up some laundry because once again i am lacking in clothes and that is a problem <laughs> whilst here so I'm gonna do a little bit of a tidy I have definitely turned half the bed into a shelf that classic move I'm gonna deal with that deal with my suitcases and just try and create a little bit more of an organized chaos I've been meaning to do for a minute now is work on my notion because I used to be so like organized with my notion and like it used to be really up to date and just recently I've kind of let it fall to the wayside and I have not been keeping up with it very well so my goal is to just like kind of do a little bit of admin with that I swear this will look better once the rest of my hair is down. Um, but yeah, I just need to do a little bit of admin with my Notion. It's super behind schedule, like literally. This is my like content calendar for YouTube and there's like nothing there because I haven't updated it in forever. And that's a problem. So we're gonna work on that right now. I'm gonna look at some, just like kind of noodle on some ideas that I want to create also if you guys have like wish lists or anything like content that you really want to see me make let me know um i'm always happy to listen to what you guys want and then i think i really want to do a 24-hour reading vlog soon so i'm gonna do one of those maybe i'll set that for next week so here is where my planner is at so i only do my my personal like to do's on here not my if i have any like client work or anything that goes in a different like to-do list area but yeah this is my for this week what I'm looking at we're starting on Wednesday that is the day that I'm filming this and I obviously did not fill out Monday and Tuesday I'll do that next week but yeah I'm feeling good about this feeling good about I filled out my content cal good job me
obsession is German juice. I go through phases where I basically only want to eat the same thing every single day <laughs> and nothing else. Um, sometimes for days, sometimes for weeks, and right now it is a Jonah Juice um, spicy tuna sandwich. I don't know. <laughs> so I have been trying to read more during meals instead of always watching something because usually I end up watching something and then that's kind of that just becomes my entire day. Like I just spend the rest of the day watching whatever show I started and my day is gone and it really kills my productivity. So yeah, I've been trying to replace like watching things with reading during meal times and it's quite lovely and like just I don't know it feels very romantic for some reason. Anyways, I'm currently reading The Beautiful One Still and I'm really, really loving it. I've been recommending it to so many people because it has like everything you could want in like the perfect summer book. It has like a little bit of magic, like great historical ambiance and then just like the most angsty, fun, love, like romance element and I'm just really enjoying it. It's a good time. Just finished hanging up my laundry and I know this might feel very silly, but I'm feeling very proud of myself because sometimes honestly, like it can take me a minute to get myself to do tasks like that. And I just got up today and I did it. And that's, I'm, I'm proud of me. That means I get to reward myself. I placed an order from ASOS the other day um, and I've been waiting to open it all day today until I finished all the things I had finished and now I have so I'm gonna open that do a little try on haul for you guys and yeah it's my first time like ordering clothes all year and I'm very proud of myself for that too but yeah I'm gonna open this up and we'll see what we got ASOS haul this is one of the items yeah it's just like the cutest little like baby doll dress and I just think it's adorable so I love this and then I also got, oh, I got these pants, but I think these are going to go back. I honestly, I got these because I wanted to wear them to the Barbie movie, but they're just like kind of too big. I mean, they're supposed to be too big. They're like parachute pants. I just don't think they look very good on me. It's not, not really the vibe. They kind of just look like pajama pants and I have, they're just like not my style. Here's the thing. Sometimes I buy things like this and I'm like, oh yeah, that's so cool. Like I want to be the kind of girl that like wear stuff like that but then I remember that I don't wear stuff like this and I'm trying to be really good like I mentioned earlier I haven't really bought any clothes this year and I'm just trying to be very intentional with the things that I buy that like they're things that bring me a lot of joy and that I'm actually going to be able to like put into my wardrobe and wear and I just that was a very long-winded way of me saying that these just aren't for me got another dress that I'm really loving but it's a little bit tight, like a little, 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 a little bit. Uh, and so I know I should send it back, but it's so sweet. Like it looks so cute on. And I'm so tempted to not send it back. <laughs> Cause it's just so cute. Like look how cute this neckline is. Like it's so adorable. And yeah, it's just like, it's just a little, a little too tight. I'm not going to try all these on again because I already did that once today. Um, so if you do want to watch that, I'll link, I'll link the Instagram video so you can watch it there. And then the last, second to last item uh, is this top from Sister Jane. And it's like so cute. I feel like I could layer with this too, like on top of things. But I just like, I love this like corsage trend. I think it's really cool. So I got this. I think I'm going to keep this because I, I just think it's really versatile and I'd wear it a lot. And then lastly, I've been really wanting like one of these ballet core shrug sets for a little while now. And I'm struggling to untangle this, but it's like, you know, like one of those cute like workout shrug things with like a camisole, like crop top situation. And just feels like a very good like everyday basic so i was excited about that so i got these like rosette necklace things and i've been also wanting to incorporate some of these into my summer wardrobe because they're just very cute i love this trend like these chokers feels feels very 2014 you know like that whole choker vibe but like updated <gasps> yes 
Yes, that's so cute. Yeah, that's adorable. <gasps> yes. Absolutely, that will be going on every outfit. Like, just with this outfit. It just like... Yes. <laughs> I love that. That's so cute. It's a little tight. It needs like... I have like little necklace expander things, so... I'll just add one of those on. I got a little pink one also. That's adorable. That's adorable. And then lastly, I picked up four pairs of sunglasses. Not to keep. I will not be keeping all four. The issue is that I've been trying to find a pair of sunglasses for months now. And I keep trying them on in store. And none of them look good on me. Um, so I bought these four thinking that like maybe one would look good on me. But unfortunately, I like multiple. So, um... I don't know I'm gonna post online you guys let me know what you think looks cuter so I got these ones these ones I think are so adorable they're pink and they have like black lenses I've really been wanting some yellow lens sunglasses for a while I just think they're very cool so I like these ones on a more casual day I'm wearing jeans and a t-shirt with my yellow lens sunglasses kind of kind of a vibe and then i have two pairs of black sunglasses because i just wanted a pair of like classic black sunglasses for a while now there's these ones but i, I don't know see now i kind of like i didn't like these when i was trying them on earlier for a video but now i kind of like them more and lastly these ones which are these just feel like i just love them so i don't know i have to figure it out i can't keep all of them so I'm, I think the two that I definitely want to keep are these two, potentially. We'll see. Let me know in the comments though. I'll also, I will link everything because I always get questions about that. So I will have everything linked in the description box below. But that is my little ASOS haul. I am going to run to the grocery store. I do really need to do that. So I got my headphones, put on my new outfit this set that i got from asos i guess i can show you what this one looks like on um it's just really cute it's like a shrug and a top and i just been wanting more like easy clothes you know i have a lot of like dress up clothes and i just kind of want more things that are easy and this is so easy and i can pair it with jeans i own one pair of jeans and they're these and i love them and i need more <laughs> because I do really like them but yeah this is my outfit I'm gonna put on my Miffy necklace and then head out before I head out I thought I would share my current favorite scent combo I am such a huge perfume girly I just like I love perfume and the way that I always pick out my like signature scent of the season is honestly I like kind of create a story in my head and so for this season, I just wanted something that was like super ethereal. Like I wanted to smell like a fairy that has gotten like lost in the forest and taken a nap amongst the bluebells. So I'm wearing the Maison Louis Marie Bois de Balancourt. Um, and this is a perfume oil and it just smells very like the inspiration for the creator is the um, woods outside of Paris. And I definitely get that. Like it just smells like, like it smells foresty, it smells woodsy, but it does have that like Parisian French vibe to it. And I love it. So I wear that on my skin, like as on my wrists and then behind my ears. And then I layer on Jo Malone's Wild Bluebell Hair Mist. And if you want a Jo Malone perfume, but you don't want to spend a lot of money, the hair mists are great because they're pretty inexpensive um compared to their perfumes but they are lovely and i usually just do like a couple spritzes of that and to me like i just feel like this combo it just smells like you're a little forest fairy and you fall asleep amongst the bluebells outside of paris and isn't that just what everybody wants to smell like? At least that's what I want to smell like. So that is my current combo. Now this little fairy is going to take herself grocery shopping. <laughs> I 
I'm back from the grocery store and that was a successful trip. I need to stop like being proud of myself for doing things that are so simple and basic, but I am, okay? Here's the thing about living in London versus New York City. I was talking to my friend Bella, who also lives in New York City, was born and raised, and just like kind of the difference between London and New York City, and I don't know what it is, but walking in London is like so much more pleasant. Like a 10 minute walk to the tube or walking to the grocery store, like that is such a delight here. Like it feels like such a simple pleasure. But like something about that is not the case in New York City. <laughs> I don't know what it is. Maybe it's just like, you know, you're used to something. So it's just when you get used to something, it loses that romance, but uh, such is life. Anyways, I did a little grocery haul. I got some grapefruit juice, which I've already been drinking. Got some trash bags and some pads because the time is approaching. And then for a similar reason, some chocolate. <laughs> and I got some nectarines, yum, yum, yum and some blackberries also yum 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 and then i got some bits for dinner so this is like some schnitzel some fresh pesto and these like asparagus and prosciutto wrapped chicken breasts sounds delightful and then also these gunpowder potatoes because they sounded really good. So I got all that to have for food for the next couple of days. I'm trying to not order out as much as I've been doing. Some milk and some cereal for the breakfast in the morning because I'm also trying to eat breakfast in the morning and not starve myself until 9 p.m. at night, which is a thing that I sometimes do when I forget to eat and it is a problem. I'm gonna go ahead and put all of this away and then I think I'm either gonna do some reading or some gaming because honestly it's been a minute since I let myself just like sit and like do some cozy gaming and when I mean a minute I mean a minute so I'm gonna do that I think that'll be nice so I started boiling water to make dinner I'm gonna make the pesto pesto pasta that I bought um, honestly because one of my Twitter friends <laughs> makes pesto pasta a lot and now i'm just like craving it but i also just got hit by this like wave of exhaustion i'm so sleepy so i'm like do i even continue making this pasta or do i just go to bed mm, i don't know i'll make the pasta i'll make the pasta i'll read my book i don't want to go to bed this early it'll just mess up my sleep schedule yum pasta is basically ready very very basic dinner tonight but you know what it's delicious i'm absolutely just like exhausted right now um yeah <laughs> but I'm, try I'm trying to stay awake what time even is it it's dark out so i think kind of late oh my gosh it's 10 p.m okay in my head it was like seven i guess that doesn't make any sense because i went to the grocery store at seven okay me being so tired not that crazy anymore i guess like it's a normal time to go to bed even though my normal bedtime is like i don't know 4 p.m or 4 a.m not p.m i think my plan for tonight is to just honestly let myself read and chill and not feel the need to like try and tackle anything else on my to-do list because obviously it's 10 p.m and i've done as much as i can and i have to be happy with that and honestly, I mean, I did everything on my to-do list. There's just that there are other things that I want to do like later this week that I'm like, oh, I could start that now, but no, we're not going to do that. I didn't really mention this at the beginning of the video, but to be quite honest, um, as per usual, I've been dealing with anxiety and it, you know, it can be really debilitating and sometimes it's hard to do things that people consider very basic and so sometimes it's really helpful for me to have videos like this where it's like I give myself a goal you know like okay today I'm gonna do this reset video and I have to accomplish all these tasks because they're for the video and it's like I don't know what the mental hurdle is that like to do those things for myself in my everyday life is so impossible but like once I 
add the task of like oh, I'm doing it for a video it becomes so much less of a hurdle I don't know anyone out there <laughs> want to psychoanalyze me but yeah I'm going to finish my dinner and then do some reading bit of a day when you're having anxiety it can be so debilitating and it's like the idea of doing anything even the most simple everyday tasks become like so huge and scary and impossible and it's like and you can even like rationalize it and like sit there and be like just go do this thing it's like sometimes I'm in my own head and I'm like go do that thing go do that thing you want to do it you want to do it go get up and do that thing and it's like you're just paralyzed and you can't but then on the other side doing the things helps resolve or at least like alleviate some of those anxiety symptoms <laughs> and it's just so silly billy how that's how it all works out anyways i am feeling still very anxious to be so honest but you know what i am also feeling very proud of myself for the day that I've had and accomplishing a bunch of stuff that I've been meaning to accomplish even if they might seem very small to me they were very big and I hope that if you are struggling to accomplish things today that this could help you make that effort I do have actually a very big work day ahead of me tomorrow so I'm happy that I took today to just kind of like reset life and get a lot of stuff done but I just wanted to come on here and say thank you all so so much for watching and I will see you in my next video bye